Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a minute to review something with you that um, I find very useful. Um, and basically it's how to have a specific drive automatically mounted and accessible when you when you start up your computer. And I'll show you the problem that it resolves. I'll, I'll use my Steam games for example. Right now, <clears throat> because the, the, the drive that I have my operating system installed to is not big enough to hold all of the games that I have accessible in Steam, I have another drive internal to the computer uh, that has all of my data for Linux, including my Steam games, uh, photos, home movies, all of the things that I want to access, but uh, I don't have them on the same drive as the operating system. And so if you have a similar situation and you want to mount that drive when you turn on your computer, I'll show you how to do that. Now, let me show you what happens. If I if I activate Steam right now, uh, it will come up and when I click on my library, it shows nothing installed, as you can see. All of the titles are grayed out, meaning that the system thinks they're not installed. But they actually are installed. They're installed to a drive that I have as I mentioned internal to the machine and it's called Lin data now that's my Linux data drive right now it's not currently mounted it's there the system sees it but it's not mounted when I turn on the computer so I'm gonna show you how to auto mount that drive now the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have a text editor installed um, I use LeafPad, so if you don't have that, it's basically on Manjaro, it would be um, sudo pacman minus s um, and LeafPad. So I, on Manjaro, it would be it's a nice text editor. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to go through with that. If you have an Ubuntu system or a Debian system, it would be sudo apt-get install leafpad. Okay? So, in order to activate it in root mode so that you can edit a file, you need to use gksudo. So, if you don't have that installed, you're going to install it using the same commands that I just showed you, but instead of putting leafpad, you're going to put gksudo, G-K-S-U-D-O. That way, once that's enabled, you can do gksudo leafpad. Okay? It's going to ask you for your password, and then it's going to bring up leafpad so that you can edit a file. So I'm gonna minimize that right now. The I'm gonna open up another terminal and we're going to take a look at what we need to modify or copy into our file. So what I'd like you to do now is type in cat proc mounts okay once you hit that it's going to bring up almost an equivalent of your f, f stab file except it's actually very much up to date so I have a file as I mentioned that is currently not listed here 
because it's not mounted. So I'm going to manually mount the file and then I'm going to rerun the command. Now I'm going to open this up a little bit. So you can see that my lin data is not listed anywhere in here because currently it is not mounted. So we're going to mount it. I'm going to click on it. Now it is mounted. Now sometimes when you try to do that it'll ask you for your password to be able to mount. Now you can see in here that I have Steam and I have my iTunes music. So those are the, the things that you want to have access to immediately when you turn on your computer. So now that I've mounted, I'm sorry, that's, that's Win Data. Now that I've mounted Lin Data, you can see all of my files. I've got videos, Steam games, music, movie files, uh, photos, and documents. And those are all the things that I want to have access to. So, and that same hard drive has a petition for my Linux data and a petition for my Windows data. So now Linux data is mounted. I'm going to close that out and I'm going to run that catproc mounts again. And then you'll be able to see that Lin data is mounted. You see it at the bottom here? Dev SDA1 run media len Lin data. So you're gonna, what you're gonna do is you're going to copy that file, okay? Copy that line, and just leave it in your clipboard. Then go back to uh, where's the other terminal? There it is. My so you're going to go to your leaf pad. You're going to click on file open. And I've already got my F stab, but in order to find that, you would go file system, etc., or etc., and down to F stab and open that. Now, your F stab file contains your drives that are mounted to your computer and various configurations. What I'd like you to do is just take that line that you copied from cat proc mounts and copy it into your sdab file. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is you see this relatime? I'm going to change that to no A time which is beneficial if you're using an SSD which I am a solid state drive so I'm going to list that as no A time so if you're using an SSD make that change if not just leave it the way it is file save okay now you wouldn't be able to, to update that file unless you were running as root, which is why we did GK sudo leafpad. So now I'm going to close that out. I'm going to close my terminal and I'm going to reboot and then I'll be right back. So uh, bear with me guys. We'll, I'll be right back to you. Okay guys, so I have, uh, I have uh, restarted the machine and now I haven't touched anything what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate Steam and we will see if my games are readily accessible and they are so you can see the ones that I've downloaded they're already accessible and if you look under you'll see Lin Data is mounted automatically Okay, and that saves you the trouble of having to 
mount the file or mount the drive every time you turn on the computer. It's a pain because if you start Steam or you open up a, your photo program or your video program and then you find you can't access your files, you need to close out the program, mount the drive, go back to the program. It can be a pain. So this way, by taking a look at cat proc mounts, uh, after you mount the drive manually, copy that line in from the particular drive, paste it into your fstab file, save it. Once you reboot, you're good to go. So now that drive, the Lin Data drive, will now mount while my machine is booting. So I don't ever have to wo worry about it or uh, deal with it after I've started the computer. Everything will be mounted. All the information on that drive will be readily accessible. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.